Artificial intelligence is still in its infancy, or relative to what we think artificial intelligence will be when we compare it to science fiction. If you've seen these images on your timeline or floating around social media, then you've encountered Dale Mini, an artificial intelligence model that generates images from any prompt you give, without fail and is sometimes stunningly accurate. This generation of Mario trail cam footage or Super Mario 64 Tower of Babel feels impossibly close to what a mock-up from an artist would look like. So how does it get results like this? And how does Dale going viral affect the future of art generation and meme culture? Here's a brief primer on how it works, and this is what it says from the Dale website. The model is trained by looking at millions of images from the internet with their associated captions. Over time, it learns how to draw an image from a text prompt. Some of the concepts are learned from memory as it may have seen similar images. However, it can also learn how to create unique images that don't exist, such as the Eiffel Tower is landing on the moon, by combining multiple concepts together. Several models are combined to achieve these results. An image encoder that turns raw images into a sequence of numbers with its associated decoder. A model that turns a text prompt into an encoded image. A model that judges the quality of the images generated for better filtering. While this is a simple enough explanation, I personally believe there is a very nice and cool android who is drawing these on the fly. I can't fit this weird little rambling anywhere in the video, so I'm just gonna get it out of the way here. And I come back to it at a later point, so I'm not just wasting your time. I think the reason why some of these generations are so impressive or accurate isn't necessarily that they hit the mark on what they're asked, but are a product of pareidolia, which is the tendency for us to perceive shapes or faces out of things that are random, or at least nondescript. Of course, Dale generations aren't random, but they do smear the sharpness of the shapes in a way that makes our brain fill in the blanks. Dale isn't the first to do this specific type of image generation but it seems to be the one right now with the most accuracy to the given text prompts. What may be making Dale so viral right now is how much fun it is to initially perceive the shapes and faces and how it compares to the prompt given. The ridiculousness of a prompt like Fred Durst Oblivion NPC is funny in and of itself, but our ability to make it out does most of the heavy lifting. These 3x3 generations are kind of like a new magic eye puzzle book. While I'm here rambling, it would be a neat idea if somebody took the code to this website and made kind of a game out of it. For instance, somebody makes a prompt. For instance, somebody makes a prompt and other people have to guess what the prompt is based on the generation. You probably don't even need a website for that. That's like a Discord in-person activity at this point. That's just an idea for you though. The definition of art is fluid. Art is often defined by its amount of perceived expression. The tools we use to create art also defines if it is art or not. Over the past 50 years, digital art has been defined by technology's limitations. Guess where I came from? A computer. Me and my hat. And everything, everything, everything else you're gonna see in this film. How does a drawing on a piece of paper compare to a drawing on a computer? It used to be defined by resolution and pixel density, but computers as a tool have already surpassed any non-digital tool. Almost everything can be done on a computer, and with perfect precision. 3D modeling and animation can perfectly approximate emotion and expression through mathematics and keyframing, whereas traditional 2D animation has the limitations of being handcrafted. Even though digital art is still very expressive, it's harder for a computer to capture all of the charming imperfections of non-digital art. This is anecdotal, but I'm much more enthralled by the simple drawings than I am realistic 3D vistas. It could be chalked up to taste, but take for instance vaporwave and sea punk art. The digital artistry of these genres reflect its technological perfection. These things can be tweaked by a computer, but not erased by hand. They're so overblown with many elements and are overproduced on purpose. That is why they often reference older technology or older forms of art like sculptures and architecture. Vaporwave and sea punk art can be interpreted as a parody of the concept of digital art. AI-generated images are a bridge between technology and humanity. There are clear imperfections that a computer usually omits. In fact, 
These images reflect a naivete about art and form, almost like a child combining a bunch of disparate elements, which ironically is that we're the ones putting disparate elements together, the computer just constructs it, but nevertheless. The prompts are taken literally. There's no intended metaphor or abstract ideas in the art itself. Its idea of expression is primitive. It can replicate styles and ideas from more abstract art. For instance, this AI generator Wumbo Dream allows you to plug in a prompt or even an image to replicate a mood or style. Arguably the most artistic thing about Dale and its contemporaries is the technology itself. It's something that's invisible to us, but the fact that we can have it create a visual literally with accuracy just by a short prompt is art in and of itself. Art reflects life through creation, and in many ways Dale is a very primitive form of sentient life. It must make decisions and create visuals based on prompts that can be very unspecific. For instance, if I just typed my username into it, I get this weird flower. I'm not sure how it got this result, but it had to parse millions of images and be logical about what to present. Even when I get slightly more specific, it constructs this image. It can't interpret the irony in this prompt, but I can see how it gets these results. It just ended up making an entirely new person. Our interpretation of these generations become more interesting and humorous when interfaced as outsider art. Outsider art is art from somebody without formal training or limited understanding of the craft they create in. The technology is very impressive and has shown us how far AI has truly come, but that doesn't make any of them good artists. Well, at least not yet. The day that artificial intelligence starts making complex and interesting pieces is seemingly more near than distant. I see Dale as somewhat of an algorithmic Wesley Willis. Wesley Willis was an outsider musician and artist from Chicago who sung bizarre and humorous lyrics over auto accompaniment from a keyboard. He's primarily known in the mainstream for producing Rock and Roll McDonald's, which was appropriately used in the documentary Super Size Me. He's also created classics like I Whipped Spider-Man's Ass and Suck My Dog's Dick. The prompts given to Dale to create disparate elements literally is analogous to the way Wesley Willis wrote his songs. Wesley Willis belches out scenarios or people without using metaphor or any layered lyrical content. Just look at the lyrics to I Whipped Spider-Man's Ass. Almost every word could be interpreted literally. Its creation is naive to the greater nuances of art. That isn't to disparage a legend like Wesley Willis. Outsider art is no worse than any other art as long as you enjoy it. And like Wesley Willis, the naivete of Dolly's results is endearing and fascinating all at the same time. Like Deep Blue, the supercomputer that beat the chess master, it will soon be able to do the impossible. If not for my arguments in this video, some of the results created from Dolly can be seen as impressive. In fact, the first thing I've ever generated on Dolly was Star Trek vs. Godzilla, and I have to say, this is genuinely cool looking. AI programming that reflects human intent has made significant leaps. The hurdles we have to cross aren't necessarily technical limitations, but more so the limitations of how we express and create truly human AI through just language alone, especially when trying to input that into a computer. It's only a matter of time until we get there. But for right now, Dale is just basically a precocious child. A, a very smart supercomputer child. <laughs>
Realistically, you'd only really need one or two generations to get the idea, but take for example Job Biden trail cam footage. There's enough images shown here that you can imagine in your head the scenario in motion. Unlike only being presented just one, this tells a tiny little story out of something very unspecific. My little ramble about pareidolia also comes into play here with how we perceive the facial expressions and how we interface with them as memes. Margaret Thatcher meeting Satan clearly has her smiling next to what we can only assume to be is Satan, which unsurprisingly looks like Margaret Thatcher. These prompts create some pretty humorous fake history with multiple images. The 3x3 prompt is also necessary for the margin of error that Dolly produces. The images generated that aren't so accurate really exemplify the correct ones. The first doll A prompt I generated is mostly a mismatch of shapes, but it only makes the good one that much better. Doll A rides that fine line of having just enough information as a meme to be proliferated enough to become viral. Unlike pre-ironic memes, doll A is just abstract enough without being too obtuse for most people to get without further explanation. Another reason doll A has become so viral is because there is no agenda behind the creation of the memes. I discussed how doll A is effectively a child creating naive or outsider art. It isn't aware of how information can be used in meme culture. November 5th, 2024 is an interesting case of this because it interprets memes about that upcoming election and creates a frightening scenario. The problem is, we know that it is generating that from images created by humans, meaning that there is no perceivable intent from the computer about what they mean by the meme. Memes aren't made as an emotional or intellectual response to what's happening in the real world. It's as objective as it could be with the information it's given. We really can't infer anything about the meme creator. It's just a computer. It's a fascinating look into the future of meme culture and how we are coming to understand new technological advances. Without Dalai being viral now, I don't think there would be this much discourse about the advancement in artificial intelligence. Let's just hope it will influence the opinion of the technology for the better. We really needed this weird goofy shit like this in 2022. Is Dalai going to continue to be viral? Only time will tell. What is for certain is that we'll be seeing more artificial intelligence in meme culture, and eventually it will overwhelmingly take a portion in our meme diet. It's going to get to the point where we're not even going to be conscious of it being AI generated. Eventually, this technology will be so ubiquitous that we will be barely cognizant of it. I'm going to be optimistic about it rather than pessimistic. I've gotten a few belly laughs as well as awestruck gasps from Dalé, so I'm pretty excited about the future of this technology. And, well, the future is already here as of me writing this. Look at just all these insane generations. What do you think? Leave a long essay in the comments below to boost my engagement and help me get more views. And if you don't, you're a gutless coward and fuck you.